Alright, hello, welcome to this tutorial. This is my first one for Fallout 4, hopefully the, the first of many, and today I'm going to be covering a topic that I actually had a little bit of trouble finding, but it's pretty easy, and if you can follow along, this one's going to be about furniture and how you can create your own custom furniture, either using vanilla files or you can use your own custom NIFs that you create in 3D Studio Max. So, to get started, first, I already loaded up my um, my creation kit here and I have all the files obviously loaded I loaded up my Fallout 4 so I'm starting from scratch so the first thing that I want to do is I want to save this and create something new I'll just call it tutorial um, furniture tutorial fern that's good so okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to load any cells that I'm probably probably gonna use preferably I'd make my own which I think I'm gonna do that's the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna make my own um, little room I'm not gonna cover the basics of how to do that I'll do that later but I'll do that right now and I'll get back to get back to this tutorial so I got my test room over here created and the first thing that needs to be done is I need to go to world objects furniture and Right here will give me a list of all the different stuff that I can use. A lot of them are not like furniture relate related, but they're markers to like um, have like ambush points, stuff like that. There's a bunch of different things you can experiment with. And so the first thing I I'm going to have to like filter out the kind of things that I'm going to use. So I would say something like couch. That would be good enough. So I'll use NPC couch federalist. That's I think that would be fine. And you can either start from new or you can duplicate it normally I would choose to duplicate it because it'll give me something to work with so I'm just gonna duplicate it and I'll make a copy right here um, knowing that uh, what your mod specifically created will have this little um, have this little mark right here so so that you know that it's it's something that has to do with the mod that you're making. That's that's going to be more important when you're working on big, bigger mods. You have a lot of different stuff that that you need to remember. So I'm going to give it something that that is pretty easy to remember. So zero zero NPC couch oh one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. And here, create a new object. Note, and it'll just rename it. And it's not used by used by anything, so that's fine. And now you have your little little thing to work with over here. And it's just pretty much a copy of the other couch. So as you can see here, you got three marking points where where you can sit on the couch and uh, you double click it and you go to edit base. And it'll give you um it'll give you this interface that has it looks kind of complicated, but it really is not. Um, over here you've got your animations, over here is the keywords. This is going to be very important because this tells the, it tells the engine what kind of animations to use and how you can use it. So it's from the furniture class of um, relaxation and it gives you your three marking points or interaction points over here. There's three of them so you can sit in three places and each of these can be positioned however you want. You can rotate it. And if you have like some kind of compl complex, uh, I don't know, couch or bed or whatever, however you want to use it, you could. That's how you set it up. So here in your marker position and orientation, and you could also set this so that it's it's more accessible from from other uh, positions. And so, and over here you get your you have your model where you choose uh, what what it's going to look like, what model you, model you plan to use. You could either use a vanilla file or you could use uh, something you created in 3D Studio Max or whatever modeling program you, you choose. So we're not going to need three interaction points, just going to need two, or actually one. And now you can only sit in one position on this couch. And I'm going to click OK, OK, save it just to make sure. And as you can see, it changed over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create something completely different. Um, I'm going to use one of the vanilla files. I can name it whatever I want here. And I'll click on edit. It'll show, uh, show the vanilla couch over here. And edit again. 
And here I'm going to see what I plan to use. I'm in architecture right now. So this is in your meshes folder from your data folder. And preferably I'll go to set dressing, set dressing. We're on. And uh, this is uh, normally just like mostly just the props and stuff like that. So. I will use, you could even use a basketball hoop or bathroom stuff like that, beer crate, huh? Uh, no, 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 none of that. Uh, bricks and blocks. Okay, this, this would be, I could probably find something usable in here. So I'll choose this cinder block square. And you see it changes. Uh, I click OK, and now it shows my cinder block replacing the the original couch so as you can see um, the sitting position is kind of sinking through the, the cinder block so what I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to want to change that and change the Z position so that it matches up where where I want the NPC or the characters to sit at and so that's pretty much it that that looks pretty good it'll be sinking through the floor a little bit the, the cinder block but uh, that that could be adjusted later so I hit OK and hit OK again it should change it doesn't it still shows the original but that's not really that's not really a big deal so there it is now he's sitting on a cinder block now I'll just make it sink through the floor a little bit so that it, so that the character's feet is touching the ground and so that's it I'm gonna load it in game and test it out alright so here I am in game in the cell that I created and there's the cinder block and so basically just work like any other piece of furniture sit you could sit and if you want to wait that's pretty much it um, I'll, you could probably you could disable the weight if you want and so I'm going to change this to something else to explain more what the keywords do all right so here I am back in the creation kit and um, as you can see I got my cinder block ready and I'm going to be trying something different and explaining what the what the keywords are for I'm going to be creating a, a type of bed but I'm gonna show show something completely different something that you could do you could actually make um, you can make furniture out of structures that are already in the game so I'm going to get to that right now. I'm going to create uh, something out of statics. So I go under world object statics and um, I would say, I guess I'm going to use the shacks. I would say the balcony floors would be probably, let me see how big they are. It's probably a little bit too big. I'll make it a little smaller. Oops. So I'm going to use this as a base to, um, to, cre to create a type of um, bed. So from that, I'll put some columns. Try to make it look a little bit more like a bed. And so here is my, um, my base for for creating the new type of furniture that I'm making here. So what I want to do is I want to create a make a static collection out of this and call it something that I can remember. Uh, something like, um, I don't know, cabin bed. That should be good enough. And so now this thing is a static. It's just one piece. And I can um, move it around and change it however I like. So I'm going back into my cinder block over here. Click edit base. And I still have um, pretty much the basic setting that I had before. Um, what I'm going to want to do is I want to um, copy the, the model, the NIF that, uh, that the engine created. Oops, what the heck is this? 
Ah, damn markers in the way. So instead of using that model, I'm going to be using the the static mesh that I create the static collection that I created. So there it is. And as you can see, it completely changed. And so basically it's still it's still like being used as a regular piece of sitting furniture. What I want to do is well, so this is not really, this, this um, step could be skipped, but I'm going to use it anyways. I'm going to change the marker so that I know that it's a kind of a bed that I'm working on. And so I go into the meshes, and I should be looking for a marker. So that should be under markers. Not there. There's a markers folder somewhere around here, I know that. There it is. And there should be a sleep bed. There it is. So now it changes to a sleeping position. And I'm going to want to align that directly to this thing. So I click on the interact point. I change the rotation so that it fits. I make sure that, um, OK. Okay, that looks good enough, I think. So now there's my custom uh, cabin bed. And I'll hit OK. And see the position is still sinking to the floor a little bit. I'm not going to need this thing in here anymore, so I'll just move that out of the way. And I'll save it just to make sure. And okay, now onto the keywords. So it's still set up that it's a um, animation furniture sitting chair, sitting like a chair. So I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to hit Add New and Anim Fern, and see what I got here. I got allow eating, sitting, artillery, barber chair. What I'm going to want to do is I want to do bed furnitures. I mean bed bed animations. So there. So what's going to happen now is that the character is going to lay down on the on this thing and look like it's sleeping. But there's still a thing here that I need to change so that it works as um so that it lets the character sleep. Right now it should work normally. I'm not hmm I'm sure I would completely remember, but I'll just look it has to be here somewhere. It's sleep furniture there it is. So I would say that's it. It's all set up. And if I want to make it so that the NPCs don't use it, I just put ignore by sandbox, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, yeah, I think that would be, that looks okay. I'll change it to a uh, cabin bed. And I got my sleep. See this thing, the interact point now changed to sleep. So I'm going to test it now in game. Save it. I think that should be it. All right, so here I am back in game, and there's my um, custom bed. As you can see, it's now, it, it can be activated. I kind of screwed up over here. It's kind of overlapping a little bit. That's fine. Um, so I hit enter so I can sleep, just like normal in the game. And there it is. Works just fine. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. I'm just going to do a little bit of house cleaning here and um, change the name of the NPC. Um, couch to cabin bed one so that creates something new and hit OK create a new form yes now it should have uh, it should create another form here and I can use this bed wherever I want make copies of it and use it just about anywhere um, also since it's a copy you go back and um, use the cinder block well, I, I already overwritten it but um, that's pretty much how it's done that's it for now i hope you learned something from this tutorial and you could use it to create something interesting in fallout 4 thanks for watching